Ladies and gentlemen, basketball fans across the great state of Arkansas, welcome to the most anticipated week of the basketball season. From the opening tip all the way through the quarterfinals, we're going to bring you some of the finest athletes the state of Arkansas has to offer as we bring you the 3A State Basketball Tournament live from Elkins High School. Tonight's game is being brought to you by D3 Auto Sales, Arkansas Tech University, Heirloom Legal Services, Tyson Foods, and by Petrus Farm and Grill. Game 28 of 28. Here we are. It's uh, a lot of graphics. <laughs> I tell you that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. A lot, a lot of late work. nights. Yeah. But a lot of fun, too. And uh, here we are at uh, the Basketball Palace of the Boston Mountains. Been beautiful, a, beautiful place. There. Great facility here. And... Um, <laughs> oh Nate, you're you're a little delirious. You got uh, lack of sleep and a uh, little bit of sickness going on. Yeah, stay away, bro. <laughs> right. So, all right, here we go. We got Dumas. We got CAC. So, someone's gonna punch that ticket to state. Who's this? Gonna be? Fix the find out. Man, are you I'm rapping? excited about this one all day. I'm Dumas rhyming. CAC, I'm who's rhyming. it going to be? Hey, um, sometimes it just flows. This is a repeat of the best game last year at Lamar. Um, it was a fantastic second round game. Went to the very end, last shot of the ball game, last possession. And I know that the CAC team has probably had this one circled on their calendar for a while. And uh, man, here they go. They get their opportunity to avenge that loss from last year. Of course, you know every team's different. Dumas is a little different. CAC is a little different, but the team names are the same. The coaches are the same, and uh, boy, we've got. A, I feel like we got a great basketball team, a basketball game, two basketball teams, and a basketball game here at Elkins. And Certainly, CAC is going to start out on the starting lineups, and uh, we'll get to those in just a second. Um, but uh, before we do, why don't we get those those start or those uh, locals real quick? I'm gonna say thank you to Esau, Sweet Corn, and Nelson Intelligent Solutions. We'll uh, we'll talk about Nelson's Intelligent Solutions in a little bit. Good to see Kevin Williams yeah. out there as he's. Uh, he only got hurt the other day and uh, took a bump, pretty yeah. pretty hard one. Grayson Wilson, the, the strong center, one of the very few guys that plays center. And he's a center for this team. Yep, you might see a little bit of center out of uh, 
Timothy Martin over for Dennis as well in this one. At four, six foot, senior number 22, Wyatt Watson. Finishing up these starting lineups. You want me to take those over for you for a little bit, or you got something going on? I got on there? it. Webb Watson okay. here. We've got Lane Baxter, number five. Webb Watson, number 22. Sam Maddox, number zero. And Dumas. Dumas has looked like the best team in the tournament this year. Um, at least their first two games, they really. Yeah. The only other one you could put in there is Lamar, and they're not here no more. Well, you know, Bergman. <laughs> Bergman looked better today, that's for sure. They sure did. Bergman looked great today. Billy Reddick, Raylan Spratt, number five. Billy Reddick, number two. Joseph Jones, number one. Number 23 for Dumas is Timothy Martin. Yeah, he's a six Tommy Red Jr. Kevin Williams last night, which he got banged up late, but he didn't have much points before that. In the fourth quarter, he didn't score at all. He ended up with only four. He is kind of the table. Setter for them, stir the, straw, the straw that stirs the drink yeah. for the Mustangs. He's a guy that's got to get going. Grayson Wilson had a great night last night. It's going to be fun to see how they match up with Dumas. Of course, we know Dumas, big time guard oriented guys that can bring the pressure in waves. Tommy Reddick, Raylan Spratt, Billy Reddick, all guys that get it done. Joseph Jones gets in the act as well. And several, a couple more off the bench. Kilgore in that category and Tishon Henderson. This is going to be a fun one. The, the Bergman Panthers await the winner of this ball game. Bergman won 72-66 over Lamar. And Kevin Williams controls the tip. Here we go. Maddox for three. Wilson falls down trying to fight for positioning. So Raylan Spratt has it, gets it to Billy Reddick. Tommy Reddick, he's smooth as silk right there from yep. the three-point line. That one doesn't go, though. Yep, contested three early. And Webb Watson, the Memphis baseball signing that Ooh. we found out from behind, wow. was blocked by number 23, Timothy Martin. And we've got another block. It's going to be out of bounds and it's going to belong to CAC. That last one, I, I don't know if it was blocked or Wilson just lost the handle and then Dumas touched it on the way out. Tough to tell. Oh, steal, Spratt. Spratt is a, a beast. He's an athlete, man. That was pretty, coast you know, to coast. We knew about Tommy Reddick. We knew about Billy Reddick. I know Spratt played last yeah, year, but he has really upped his game. Yeah, he has. Honestly, after losing Mike, I knew it was going to be a good team, but I think they're playing better than they were last year in the tournament, and that was a great team. they just gotten bigger, a year older. I mean, Tommy, he's a big dude. I mean, he's a beast now. Yeah. Billy's thick. Spratt, you know, does a little bit of everything. He's super athletic. Kevin Williams has it, finds Webb Watson. Watson tried to get it to Grayson Wilson. Active hands. Ball is up the floor now. Raylan Spratt has it. Reddick's going to set it up. Raylan Spratt gets it, steps uh -oh. to the three-point line, <laughs> and that left-handed shot Spratt. is smooth. Baby, Spratt said splat in the bottom of the bucket. Kevin uh, Williams tried to get it up to Wilson. It's stolen away. Dumas has it. 5-0 is, is the score. Dumas pace right now. Oh, my goodness. That was a tough shot uh -oh. there by Tommy. I think he's okay. Come down weird on his ankle. Williams, a little Euro step, he's blocked. Dumas' pressure is impressive. Three-pointer by Maddox is no good. Webb Watson gets it, kicks it out. Lane Baxter, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Tommy Reddick. There they go, Spratt, he's a two-on-one. He found that same spot, hey. he found that same result. Is that Braylon Spratt or Al Dillard out there? Stopping in transition My and popping. Goodness. My goodness, what a start. For the C or for the Dumas, good Lord, Dumas <laughs> Bobcats, eight nothing is the score. I'll tell you what, let's just stay here since I can't get it out, say anything, do whatever. I can't make it right. So here we go, six away to go. Stopping and popping, Spratt. He's got 
I wrote a five down for him at one point. He's got eight already, five two threes. That's what it felt like. I, I, when I was writing down a three, I was thinking, he's already got five, and I wow. wrote down five. And then he got another three in transition. It was a two on, it was a one on two, but he had a guy coming in to make it a two on two, and he said, I'm good from here. Smooth. You know, we've had, I, we, I don't know if you watched our interview with Dumas yesterday, and I talked to him, basically apologized to him for keeping him at number five all year in our, in our ASN poll. Um, they definitely have been underranked by us. That's but true. sometimes that's, Lamar, that's how it is. Lamar been the same way. Of course, they got hot at the right time. Yes. Kind of made that a little bit different in that situation. You know, yeah, through the middle of the season, C that was that was okay. But at the end, they definitely were. Yeah. Up. Now, CAC, they've gotten the ball up the court most of the time. And they've been they've been struggling when they get get it to Watson. He's trying to dump it off to Wilson. Active hands have poked it loose or blocked the shots. Let's see if they can get a better flow this time. Wilson and tries to find the back right side. there, and Billy Reddick runs it down. That's too much speed. Reddick gets it up to Spratt. Spratt's filling it right uh -oh. now. Three. Goodness gracious. Corner. The wing, it don't matter. Three-pointer corner pocket there. It's 11-0 Dumas, and they are coming out firing. Webb Watson has it. Gets it to Kevin Williams, and they've got to score quickly here. Maddox, little ball fake, up Scoop. and under move. That's what they had to do. Great move, great play by Sam Maddox. They got to scratch, and they did. Billy Reddick, little crossover dribble. Doesn't Raylan Spratt have to touch the basketball on this play? They yeah, Not this gotta, time. You got to keep it to the hot hand right now, I think. Three from Reddick, no good. That was Tommy this time. Webb Watson. Kicks it out. Sam Maddox thought about the three, puts it on the deck, tries to get to Lane Baxter. He does get it to Kay Baxter. Will, wanting it bad. Deuce Williams wanting to drive it. Maddox needs that one, and yeah. they got five straight. Hey, gets the AC back into it. It's 11 to 5 here at 4.51 to go. Kind of like that last game. Only two players scoring early on for each team, one of each team. Settling down just a little bit. Tommy Reddick being guarded by Kevin Williams. This is a nice matchup here. Billy Reddick, ball fake, steps in, two-pointer, no good. Sam Maddox has it. Two trips in a row, Spratt didn't touch the ball. That's right. Kevin Williams gets it to Grayson Wilson. Wilson lost it on the way up, somehow tried to get it up on the rim. He does. Webb Watson gets it knocked out of bounds. It's going to belong to CAC. Immediately, you're going to see Jackson Hampton check in for Lane Baxter and Jacob Henry come in for Webb Watson. Jackson Hampton is a low down low, kind of like Grayson Wilson. He's got some bunnies, too. Williams pulls a three, and he knocks it hey. down. Hey. He don't shoot a lot of threes, right? That's right, but he knocked that one down, and we've got eight nothing run here by the hey. Mustangs, and we've got a game. Deuce says, put a three by my name. <laughs> Spratt gets it to uh, number 23, Timothy Martin. Martin loses it, but goes out of bounds off of CAC. That was a, a great play by Spratt there, and I just, I just feel like right now you can't go too many trips without Spratt shooting the basketball if you're doing it right now. He is going to throw it in right now, checking into the yeah, ball watch game. Watch him. He might get it right back. Is number 15, Caleb Cook. Now, Billy Reddick has it. Gets it to Jones, to Raylan Spratt. Spratt gets it to Billy. Billy, a little turnaround, kicks it out. Spratt, three-pointer. About to say four in the first quarter. Come on, man. <laughs> Another opportunity, though. That was great work from number one, Jones. Tap Tom, it out. Tommy Reddick couldn't convert. It's going to be out off of Dumas. You know, CC dodging a little bit of a bullet right now. Three-point game. If Tommy gets it going, the same time Spratt's get, get the same time Spratt gets it going, <laughs> it's going to be trouble. Let's let's push the rewind button and start this one over, right? Uh, <laughs> Grayson Wilson with a great catch. He saved it, but Dumas is going to knock it all out of bounds. 3.30 left here. I don't know if CAC's had two possessions so far. That Dumas get, didn't get their hand on the ball at some point. That's I think that's a big thing with Dumas right there. Their defense is better this year than it was last year, and they are very active with their hands. Three by Maddox, no good. Big rebound there by Jones. You know, last year their defense was great in the press, but it wasn't as good as in the half court as it is this year. Out, and we're going to take it out of bounds as there was a foul. Joseph Baronic is going to check in. 
I think he said that in the interview, Baron. Yo, he did. Stadium announcer. It took us a while yeah. to learn. Jones gets it inside. Cook. Cook puts it up. That's a nice one there. And I'm sorry, that's Marcus Kilgore. I apologize for that. Marcus Kilgore puts it in. It's 13 to 8. He's the first Dumas Bobcat to scratch outside of Raylan Spratt. Right back down the floor, Sam Maddox puts it in for two. Maddox has got seven here early. CAC survived the early run. Spratt trips. They're going to say Williams stepped on the line before he threw it off of him. So Spratt in an inbound for the Dumas Bobcats up three here with 2.45 remaining in the first quarter. Billy Reddick has it. Tommy Reddick hasn't scored yet for the Bobcats. Jacob Henry's got the unenviable task of guarding Tommy Reddick. Kevin Williams is on Spratt. Billy Reddick. Puts it on the deck, kicks it out to Jones. Jones pulls it, 18 Wow. Is he doing that yesterday? That was the one game I didn't call much in. We got, I guess he stepped over the line there, and uh, it's going to be Dumas basketball. No, I do not remember him hitting, hitting 18, too much. Or maybe that was close to 19-5 that yeah. time. Just Seem short. Might have had one foot on the, one heel on the line. Seemed like he uh, did more of the work on the inside. Tommy Reddick guarding by Williams, kicks it out. Joseph Jones. Wow. Come on now. He's unconscious right now. He's got two in a row what? from way out in the corner. You know, we talked about this with Bergman a lot, and it, Dumas is really similar. They can score from five spots on the floor. There you go. That's CAC offense in a nutshell. Hampton puts it in for two, and we've got an 18-12 ball game. CAC has really got to fight to keep this one in it. Three-pointer, Spratt, no good. You know, Elkins hanging around last night until about this exact score. I come back out from taking a break. We had Bobby Swafford up here from the AAA interviewing him. I was doing a little camera work at that point, listening and writing a little color. And as soon as he was finishing that interview, he comes into the second half, they hit a big bucket, and he's like, just like that, it's 20. I was like, what? It was just 18-12. Right. It was 39-19 then. And then it was just off to the yep. races after CAC that. CEC doesn't want to repeat of what Elkins went through. They got to get it going here. Nice pass by yep. Baxter. Baronic. There it is. Drills one. 18-15. 11 nothing start by Dumas, and CAC has essentially erased that. Billy Reddick working it. Trying to cross over, gets it to Joseph Jones. Man. Jones, little crossover, kicks out. Tommy Reddick pulls the three. In and out, no good. Nice rebound there by Kilgore. Marcus Kilgore knocks it down. Got three different Dumas Bobcats <laughs> with multiple scores. ASN may need some umbrellas. We're raining threes tonight. That yeah. is true. Lane Baxter, ball fake. Oh. Try to get it to... Uh, Jackson Hampton, Hampton dribbled it off his foot. Up the floor, Raylan Spratt. Spratt puts it in. Raylan Spratt, he's got 13 first quarter points. 22 15 is your score. 32 to go in the period. Lane Baxter, nice move. Ball fake kicks it out, and that's yeah. going to be thrown into the back court there. Got to pick that up. up. Got to pick that up there. Of course, that's a weird place to throw it in, but you yeah. don't want them to inbound it underneath their goal. But it is it is kind of an odd spot there. Yeah, right in the corner. I'm not sure. It, wor it worked out really good for them, but you've got to go pick that ball up. You don't want them to get an inbound right underneath their goal and be able to run the inbound play and score, make you pay for that one. Tommy Reddick has it. No shot clock here as we come to the end of the first quarter. Doom is going to hold for the last shot. Is, hey, guys, we're at 6.99 thousand subscribers. We are just a few away from hitting that 7,000. Tommy pulls an 18-footer. It's off back iron. No good. Kilgore gets the shot up. We got, did he call a foul? I believe he did. I think he did. They're talking. Yep, looks like it is. Kilgore to the line to shoot two. Matt Hall saying no way it happened before or after the buzzer. So it's going to be an empty free throw lane here. 
Joseph, I'm sorry, Marcus Kilgore is going to shoot free throws here, two of them at the end of the first quarter. Grace Maddox says, go Sam, my brother. Good player. Yeah, he is. Fun one to watch. Kilgore misses the first one. Got the CAC student section up there behind the, the uh, free throw shooter, behind the goal. Doing Second their one. best. He knocked it down. One now. of two from the line. We're going to end the first quarter with a 23-15 lead for the Dumas Bobcats. We'll come back for second quarter action right after this. You're watching the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of 3A basketball tournament. We'll be back after this. Three Auto Sales in Desar. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people, and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desert. We just did it. Thank you. We have already we've broken 7,000 subscribers here. I think we yep. have. Yep. just yep. went over it. We say Dang, every time, I'm telling you, I got power. Every time I bring it up, stuff happens, you know, people miss free throws. If you hadn't hit that notification <laughs> bell, though, make people sure bring you do that. Snickers, I mentioned that the other day. We yeah. got a Snickers. That's it's crazy. So, we wield so much power here. <laughs> I, I think, you know. You think we should live here, I think right? we should take questions no. from people or, or uh, you know, things, you know, people should come to us with things that they want done. We'll see what yeah. we can do. <laughs> as long as it's at the basketball gym. <laughs> For sure, right. for sure, during Cause the we, broadcast. Because we, we can't get much else done after that. They ask your wife to do something, she just looks at me like I'm a dummy. Oh, you you're, you might as well not come home tonight. <laughs> you better pray she's not listening. Oh, yeah. What, what were you thinking? Man, just go straight to the dog. You've been married too long <laughs> to do that. <laughs> That's true. Good point. 7.45 left here in the first half of play as Raylan Spat, Spratt throws it in. <laughs> Seen a bunch of the Harding Academy Lady Wildcats up here. Season ended, but man, what a valiant effort. They were fun to watch. A little screen and roll action. Joseph Jones steps out of bounds. That's a good stop for CAC. Let's see if they can cut into the lead. Got my buddy old Theron Robotham. Fan. He enjoyed our broadcast. Appreciate it. Boy, they're doubling up on Grayson at times down low. Maddox puts in another three. You know, Maddox has struggled with the three-pointer here in this tournament. They really need him to hit tonight. And 23-18, CAC just kind of hanging around here. Yep. Now, we were talking about that in the break. As hot as Dumas has come out, CAC's not that far behind. Billy Reddick, that was way off there. And now it's knocked away from behind. Spratt, he's ahead of the pack all the way. Left-handed layup, good. We got a warning. Is that what we're doing? Are we warning Coach Matt Hall? Yeah, he thought there was a foul when Kevin Williams got the ball knocked out of his hand. 25-18. We've 15 seen for Spratt. We've seen that a lot. We I don't oh. think we've had one technical on the coach this time. This. Uh, tournament here. Well, we've seen we a ton if, of warnings. If, what's, if what we've said trumps to pass, then right. we'll get one here in a minute. <laughs> We're powerful. Kick out. Williams, three-pointer, in and out, no good. Rebound, Jones. Jones has played really good so far today, both ends. It's good to see Williams out there. We didn't know for sure if he's going to get a chance to play. Reddick, yeah, he's not trying to get it going. Well. He's not shooting that well right now. It's Raylan Spratt really playing well for them right now. Maddox, a long three-pointer. Uh-oh, I was about to say, if yeah. he hits that one, he may be. Love the body English on Maddox after he <laughs> let go of it. He had the distance right, but wide right that time. Spratt, a little shake and bake, Ooh. up and under, no good, rebound Maddox. They got some numbers if they go Williams, right now. Williams, nice pass Baronic. to Baronic for two. Kevin. And it's a timeout, Dumas, 25-20. Here's your score, 551 remains in the first half. We'll be back here in just a moment. In life, things aren't scripted. 
if you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Twenty-five twenty, Dumas lead. CAC has survived an eleven nothing start, and uh, we've got ourselves a ball game. You got some comments? Yeah. Asher Davidson says a three seed and a dream. Talking about the Mustangs, well, they are right here in this thing. Five point game, trying to make make their way to state. I think that CAC came out of the toughest region. Uh, being a three seed out of that region, you know everybody had a chance to win. Lamar came in, into the semifinals. Uh, and you got CAC in the semifinals. Riverview was a very good team as well. So, I mean, those are three really, really top teams in this state, three seed or not, right? That's true. CAC won that, their conference in the regular season as well. Kilgore gets a shot up. It's blocked by Hampton. Knocked out of bounds. Going to belong to CAC. Tommy Reddick. Trying to get going here. Tell you what, 0 of 3 from the field, 0 of 3, or 0 of 6 from the field so far for Reddick. You, you tell me that, I'm thinking that Dumas is down right now, but right. they're up by five. Screen action. Williams oh, is blocked by Tommy Reddick. On defense, though, he's getting it done still. And there's Spratt, he goes all the way, yeah. and he's fouled. I think it's Wilson got him. Wow. More comments we got. Let's go Bobcats from Versi Williams and Lifewit Anesty. And Nicole Evans says Raylan Spratt cleaning up. And Gracie Maddox says, or Grace Maddox says, come on, Sam. And Versi also says, let's go Raylan. A lot of Dumas fans in there. Got some CAC mix in there as well. Second shot up, off no good. One of two, Spratt, 16 points so far for the Dumas Bobcats. And he's got, they got 26, he's got 16 of them. He does, and uh, Kilgore and uh, Joseph Jones have the other 10. Spratt going to bring it across the timeline. Okay. Wilson playing Kilgore man to man. Hampton's picking up Jones right now. Little ball fake. Billy Reddick backs it out, working against Sam Maddox. Tommy Reddick playing against Kevin Williams. Williams having a, doing a pretty good job on Reddick so far. Yep. Tommy not getting a shot to fall. He's got to keep his head up, keep his poise here. He's got a size advantage, 6'2 over about six foot maybe of Williams. Williams can't get it to go down. Some really good matchups. Spratt here. goes straight at Wilson. Man, I thought I heard a whistle and we didn't. Here we go. All the way back, Williams can't make the reverse layup. Somehow, oh! Maddox almost in his rear. rear. Wow. Maddox playing well here so far. He's got 12. It's 26-22. Willing his team to stay close right now. 26, like you just said. Wilson in the middle of the defense right now. Raylan Spratt really carrying the, the Bobcats right now. Spin move, and there's Wilson. And we got out of bounds off of Wilson. Checking into the ball game is Lane Baxter and Webb Watson for Wilson and Williams. Two, two really good ones going off the floor for CAC right here. Joseph Jones, Jones and they go right at it. He's got great inbound positioning there. Got the ball, did a little move, got it to go. Little baby hook. Get it inside to Maddox. Maddox, wow, he's having a ball game. 
He's having a ball game, yeah, he he, and it is 28-24. Right back and forth, keeping now, about a four-point lead here. Now six this to is four, six to four. This is what we expected right here. We expected this type of ball game, and we're getting it right now. Spratt thought he's thinking about that three. Yeah, he's got Baxter on him. He's trying to make a move here in ISO. There's, There's the help, and he gets it back. Maddox though playing yep. big. You got a jump ball. Jump ball is going to belong to CAC, and there's a stop yeah, for the see, Mustangs. You see the uh, the excitement there from Jacob Henry, the emotion. Four point lead as CAC is trying to uh, cut it down again after an 11 0 start. Thank you, Kevin Patton. Great game, ASN. Get it inside to Hampton. Hampton gets his own rebound. He's fouled from behind by Jones, I believe. And that's going to send Hampton to the free throw line. Hampton trying to cut into this do mislead and make it a two-point ball game possibly with two free throws. First shot up. Good. Big free throw for Hampton. He's got three points now. Second shot, no good. Great job from Jacob well, Henry. Dumas okay. somehow yep. gets it out of there. Now we got a break here. Good oh. job by CAC to get back. Henry, he's playing good tonight. He's been pivotal during this uh, tournament in their run. Yep. Lane Baxter has it, trying to get it back to Maddox, and he does. Maddox being guarded by uh, Tommy Reddick now. Raylan Spratt guarding Jacob Henry. Webb Watson looking inside. There's Maddox, three. It's off to the right, no good. Henry with the rebound. Baxter, he's shot the three well this tournament, but uh, that one doesn't go. Nobody down there on that second shot. All Dumas. 28-25, 1.36 to go. Tommy Reddick, little pull up, Man. shot no good. You think if that if you you think if he would have got that one down that uh he might have got you know kind of seen one go in, get going. Still can't find the bottom of the bucket. Jacob Henry gets it to Maddox. Maddox a little sidestep. Gets it back out to Henry. 115 to go. We got three new Mustangs coming back into the ball game here. In just a moment, Baxter gets it to Henry. Henry going to work off the screen of Watson. Three-pointer on the way by Baxter. He drills it. Wow, Lane. Lane, We Baxter. got a tie ball game. Climbing all the way back. Who would have thought? Raylan Spratt started so hot. Dumas started so hot. Spratt gets the ball, kicks it out. Tommy Reddick still has yet to score. Billy Reddick, thinking about the three. 35 seconds to go, 12 on the shot clock. Billy gets it to Kilgore, and that's gonna be a charge. Big momentum shift right now in this second period. It was all Dumas early. It's been all CAC as of late. Can you believe that CAC has a chance with the basketball to take a lead in this first half? It was 18-12 since then. It is a 16 to 10 run. Thirty, well, 30 seconds essentially. 29 as they inbounded the basketball. Kevin Williams going to bring it across the timeline. Williams, Baronic, Baxter, Stand Wilson, and Maddox here, in the ball game. Trap. And there well, it is. It worked. Stolen by Dumas. 13 seconds to go. Billy Reddick pulls the three, it's off. Joseph oh, Jones the ball down. Oh my, crashing in, how do you make that? He didn't have the angle to do that. That is an unbelievable athletic play. What just happened? Did they wave it off? They sure did. They charged him with a foul, his I third. Guess got it. got him in over the back there. Yeah, pushing or Williams has it. Two seconds, one, he pulls a three at the buzzer and it's blocked. 
And that's going to be the end of the first half. Let's get Alan Russell ready here. 28-28 is your score, and we're going to get Alan Russell down there as he's going to get Coach Matt Hall to talk with him. Might get Larry Harris, too. It's a tie game, so we're not sure. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> true. It looks like he's going to get Larry Harris. Yep, right here. Right go. We're good. You want to throw at the same time? <laughs> Coach, the game you led 11 to nothing here, kind of got never back in the tie ball game. Right. How you, how you get this thing back in your favor? Oh, we just got to get back to what got us that lead. You know what I'm saying? Got to get more movement on offense, you know, move the basketball. I think we got a little stagnant right there, playing a little too much one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one basketball. They was loading up on us. All right, and we got to look and say, hey, there are no fouls out here, man. We're looking for fouls. Don't look for no fouls. Go and score. If there's a foul, that's just a bonus. We got to go play ball, just point blank. Absolutely. And Coach, how much does your past experience help you in this situation? Oh, it's, it's helped us tremendously. I mean, we've been here. We played in ball games like this. We played in environments like this. We were steward runs like this. What we got to do is just gather ourselves, gather our trips, get us thought. Don't get caught up into all the hoorah, rah, rah, and just play basketball. Execute on the defensive end and offensive end. Go back to what got us here. Best of luck to you, Coach. Back to you up top, bro. All right. We got uh, Alan Russell down there with Coach Larry Harris and uh, – what a first half this was, and uh, we're going to get a, a quick break. We'll get some stats and totals for you on the Stone County Propane and Gas Company halftime show. We'll be back in just a moment. What does the Stay Put Pillow offer that no other travel pillow on the market can? Our patented design offers support for the neck and head, preventing uncomfortable slumping. A place to support your arms because no one ever knows what to do with those. Extraordinary versatility. It can be used in any seat of a plane, window, center, or aisle, or even in a terminal waiting on your flight. It's reversible, so it can be used on any side of the plane. The design allows hands to move freely while also providing a rest to use a phone or read a book. It also has a handy cell phone pocket built right in. With its unique design and weighing only about two pounds, it's very easy and convenient to travel with. Order your Stay Put Pillow today at mystayputpillow.com. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Back here on the Stone County Propane and Gas Company halftime show. Give them a call at 870-269-3616. I think they said they were serving um, six counties in north central wow. Arkansas there. Um, let's give you some uh, halftime totals from Duran. Oh, individual stats will start with CAC. Sam Maddox, 14 points, two made threes. Maddox also uh, added uh, four rebounds. Big night for him so far at the break, leading the way for CC. Kevin Williams had a made three early on. He also has three assists and a block. Lane Baxter has a made three. Joseph Baronic has a made three. He also has three rebounds to go with that. Jackson Hampton has three points. He had two and then a one for two at the free throw strop. Jackson Hampton, that's all the stats I've got on him. Jacob Henry, three assists, one rebound, and one block. 
Grayson Wilson with three rebounds to go with all that. I think I've got everybody on the CAC side. And for Dumas, Joseph Jones with seven points. He also has two rebounds, an assist, and a steal. 16 points for Raylan Spratt. He made three threes in the first period. He also has an and one. No, it wasn't and one. It was a two in the second period, and then he uh, made the front end of a two, uh, two free throws there. He's got 16. He also, I think that's all I got on him. Let's go down to Marcus Kilgore. Five points for Kilgore. He's got four rebounds. Tommy Reddick has not scored yet. He's got three assists, two rebounds, two blocks. And Martin, Timothy Martin has two blocks and a steal. Joseph Jones, I talked about him, two rebounds, one assist, and one steal to go up his points. And Billy Reddick, who is not skilled. Neither Reddick boy has scored. Wow. Two assists, one rebound, and one steal. And we're steal. tied. We're tied in half on that. Yeah. Well, so, that's what I was saying early. If yeah. uh, Reddick got it going with Spratt, look out. They might have ran away with it, but they didn't. CSE withstanding the, the storm there. They come back, and it's 28 all, and now Dumas has got some adversity in their face. You can see the uh, totals there on the screen here for both teams. Similar stats, similar score, right? I mean, two of three from the free throw line for CAC, two of four for Dumas. Five of 14 beyond the arc for the, uh, the CAC Mustangs, four of 11 for Dumas, and six of 14 inside the arc, seven of 16 inside the arc for Dumas. So it is similar stats. I, we're waiting on Coach Matt Hall here in just a moment. Um, I have no idea what happened to the mic in the last game, but we got it back hopefully. So um, we'll get Coach Matt Hall. You know what it is. What's you said, that? We were talking about that new mic. So we used to have an old one, and you said, no problems with this new one. Yeah, that's And the true. power <laughs> of ASN just somehow <laughs> magically zapped it for a half there. There you but go. It's back up and running now. So um, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say, this second half is going to be awesome. Yes, sir. What, what do we got, Bill? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's give a shout out. Tommy Reddick, if, you've got, if you're a coach out there watching right now, uh, Tommy Reddick, uh, he's a very smooth player. Uh, hadn't had the best game so far, but I still expect him to come through in the second half. Uh, coach Larry Harris down there at Dumas can direct you to him. And we're going to get Coach Matt Hall. He's going to talk to uh, Allen here in just a second. Thank you on the PBS. Yeah. <laughs> and go. Hey, Coach. Down 11. Man, what are you thinking at that point? Look, I told the guys to start the game, they're going to come out and throw some haymakers. Uh, that's their MO. They come out fast. They come out furious. Um, I, just stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan. We shoot it well. We can score in bunches. We're a good defensive team. And that's exactly what we did. We stuck to the game plan. Now we're right back in it. Absolutely. Coach, 16 minutes away from Hot Springs. How you keep your kids focused and get this win? Uh, they're focused. Look, the, we got to defend and we got to rebound. I, I actually love the ref referees, the way they're calling the game. They're going to make the players decide the game, right? And that's what that's what needs to happen. Let the players decide who wins the game. Absolutely. Best of luck to you, Coach. Yes, sir. Back up top of you, Bray. All right. That's Alan Russell for the final time here at the state tournament in 3A State. Um, thanks to Allen for doing that down there on oh, the yeah. sideline. Big help. He's been awesome. That That's added a lot to our broadcast up here, getting those halftime reports. It's been a really nice little bell on top yeah. of everything else we try to do. Couldn't have done it without him being here that's with right. us this week. Next week, um, next year, it's a camera on the floor for starting lineups. That's what we'll do. Mm. Look, look like, if like, the AAA lets us. Yes. We gotta have we've been at some state tournaments where they won't let cameras go down on the floor. We got, we got to have somebody like young, with strong back and young, strong legs, and <laughs> they can kind of bend down and just follow it out. Yeah. And, well, can we get smoke too, some dry ice? That'd be nice. To get that going. Anyways, hey, the elk here on the outside blows smoke out his nose. Isn't it they, neat? they push a button. That's pretty. Sweet. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's why they call it the palace, the, the basketball palace of the Boston Mountains. Real quick, I wanted to touch on what Matt Hall was saying there. He was talking about letting them play, but he also was talking about how. He knew that Dumas was going to come out looking like Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. You know, they they lived their life a quarter mile at a time, and that's what happened early on. <laughs> Stephanie Ruff says, thank you, ASN. Maybe your shout-out will change a player's life and open doors love from Bergman. There's that's all awesome. kinds of good players in this state tournament. Last year it was Manila, and Jaron Burrow was one that we know for that's sure. Right. 
Brought the Donnelly. opportunity, so. Also playing on the next level. We don't know if that, he had anything to do with us, but we Braden sure did Dunley, cover yeah. Braden. Yeah, Braden he was, I apologize. He was our MVP yeah, he last was. year, and uh, we'll have MVPs for boys and girls basketball. We'll be taking those nominations. Look for the post on our Facebook on both ASN and ASN High hey, School tomorrow. Just a, just a quick talk. You know, there was some girls that are going to possibly be nominated that didn't make state, <laughs> and definitely, you know, different classifications. Sure. But of this tournament, girl-wise, it, it's over now for the girl side. Who would you say was in your top three for sure? Top three in the girl side? McCarn. Well, you, put, you put me on the spot, McCarn would be one of them. Um, Marley Sellers would probably be my other one. And then I would say Corey Sanders has a, probably be my other one. There's there yep. probably a, a couple other good ones that we could get in there. Broughton. Kendry, was it Kendry Broughton? Yes, Kendry Broughton. Dennis, she's got to go in that, in that conversation too. And I know I put you on the spot. Right. It's hard right on the fly. Here That's we right. go. Spratt all the way, a little step through, jump through, can't get it. And uh, Grayson Wilson comes away with the rebound. Ball knocked away, but mu the Mustangs have it. Sam Maddox all the way to the hoop, shot up good. Sam Maddox, for all the struggles that he's had in the state tournament, he's making it up. And, folks, CAC has their first lead of the ball game. Unreal. What a ride it's been for them since they were down 18 to 12. And actually 11 nothing, like Allen was talking about well, a half there to start it. I'm going to tell you right now, if Billy Reddick and Tommy Reddick can't get it going, Dumas is not going to win this ball game. They've got to get it going, and they got to get it going soon. And I'll be and, shocked if they don't. And Tommy Reddick has the basketball right now, and he's going to be fouled. You know, when you're struggling in that manner and in that way, yeah. you get to the free throw line. Right. That's where now, you go. That's, a sh that's on the floor, but keep it up. And eventually, if they get five, all those will turn into two shots every time. Yep. Billy Reddick, Tommy Reddick last year, Mike Reddick was yep. unbelievable. I think, I think they're going to start, he said, moving the basketball. He yeah. likes the way they're calling the game. <laughs> Both of them said that. Got to get it downhill. Dumas kicks it out. Sam Maddox almost got stolen. Spratt kicks it over. Billy Reddick. Jalen Evans getting play here in this first half. Webb Second Watson half. tried to take the charge there. But as you said. Jalen Evans, he is a senior, six foot one. And he gets the basket. Stepping up. Coming in. Wilson, he's got it. When he gets it that yeah. deep, there ain't much you can do about it. Nice move there. Dip the little shoulder in. Come right back up up high off the glass. 32-30 Mustangs with the lead. That was a true postman move. He been calling him a true center. That's how he plays. Get it to Billy Reddick on the block. Sam Maddox guarding him. Billy. A little up and under, and Billy can't get it going. Hey, There's a big rebound, though. In. Evans, another big play. That's a tough shot from Spratt. It almost went in, but it didn't. Dumas needs to get some stops here. I think Dumas is starting to press just a little bit here. Wilson has it working against Tommy Reddick. Wilson kicks it out. Sam Maddox thought about the three, gets it to Baxter. Baxter to Williams. Williams gets wow. it inside to Webb Watson. Watson couldn't convert. Tommy comes out with it. Little behind the back dribble, but yeah, he loses it. it. What we saw on this in a moment ago by CC, that's what they do. A little bit of length and a little bit of quickness is a problem, though, as they couldn't convert it. Two that's point. what they do. They bounce it down to their bigs as they come off the baseline. Two-point lead for CAC. They are content to slow it down. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I do, too. Ball almost stolen by Raylan Spratt there. Hampton's going to check in in a moment here, either for Watson or Wilson, more than likely. Williams working, trying to work off Webb Watson. He gets to Baxter. Baxter's three, no good. And rebound comes away to Dumas. Here come the Bobcats. Spratt, he's the one that has been the catalyst for the offense for Dumas, but he hasn't done a whole lot outside the first quarter. And here we are halfway through the third. We got three new CAC Mustangs about to check in here. Braylon Spratt gets inside, a little fader, Tough shot man. up, no good. Rebound comes away to Got CAC. Numbers. All the way, Williams, and he's going to be fouled. Yep, he tried to rip the ball over to Watson as well. Watson's asking to, I think he was wanting to come out. 
They're getting them up, you know, picking them up and putting them down, getting them down the court here. He, he's ready for a breather. CAC has that out. or he knew he was coming out. CAC has outscored the must or outscored the Bobcats 32 to 19 since the 11-0 start. Maddox has it. Gets it inside to Baronic. Baronic yeah. is blocked by Tommy Reddick. And that is a six-foot guy blocking a six-six guy. Thirty-two thirty as we are three forty left here in the third. Not much offense happening here in the third quarter. Tommy Reddick has it. Good spot. He's got size. That's it. Man, he can't get it. Rebound. We got it on the floor. It's going to be CAC basketball after the jump. Man, that was a golden opportunity that time for Tommy. Just couldn't get it up off the Tommy rock. has been so – I'm sorry to interrupt you. Tommy has been so smooth all tournament long here, Duran. I mean, it's just, building up in him a little bit yeah. now. You know, he's missed a lot of shots. It's getting in the back of his head just a little bit. 32-30. Pressing a little. Just got to let it come to him. He'll be all right if he does that. Get it to Hampton. Hampton kicks it out. Williams. Williams to Baronic. Baronic goes all the way up. Mm. Little dipsy do, and he puts it in for two. Four point lead. Biggest one of the night for CAC. Joseph Jones about to check in for Dumas. Dumas got to find some scoring here pretty quickly. Kilgore has it at the top of the key. Raylan Spratt. Gets it over to uh, J Evans. Evan Hampton fighting yep. for that screen position. Billy Reddick goes up, shot up, no good, okay. going to the free now throw line. Go to the line. Let's see if he can get going after this. A lot of momentum right now in the building for the Mustangs. Dumas needs to get these free throws in here and get a stop on the other end. First shot by Reddick, no good, goodness gracious. This, this point of the game has a, you know, sometimes you can just get a feel when the game changes. You know, when the game changed a little bit at the end, when you go back to talk about it later, it has that feel right here. Dumas can get right back in it, no problem right here. But right now, it's a little bit of a feeling that, yeah. that CSC could go on a run here. Put some major separation that they could possibly keep the rest of the night. Ball's knocked there away. There's Spratt. Spratt all the way to the hoop. There. That's what they got to do, get out in transition when they get the opportunity. He's got 18. Big night for Raylan Spratt. Dumas down one now. Get it up to Baronic. Baronic kicks it out to Jones. Sorry, Henry. Apologize. Maddox puts it on the deck, gets it to Hampton. Hampton is fouled, or Maddox is fouled, I think. Yeah, Maddox. <laughs> on Billy. Yeah, that's a, actually it's oh, on I looked Kilgore. At it on Kilgore. Yeah. yeah, they put him up backwards up here. <laughs> Maddox ball fake, step aside, three pointer, no good. Out of bounds on CAC. Maddox, Dylan Friend, both those guys. And you got to keep shooting it. Just keep shooting the basketball. When you're not shooting the three as well as you'd like, just keep shooting it. 34-33. Dumas up one. Running a little bit of a set there. Multiple screens. Jones has it, gets it to Raylan Spratt. Spratt step out three-pointer. Looked good off his hand, but it's just a little bit short there. A big rebound by Williams. Williams gliding and gets it to Baronic. Baronic. That's what they do right there. They go to a spot. They set there. Kevin Williams can either take it himself or dump it off. Man. Baronic to the line. He's just so quick, and he does it in such a fluid manner. He's always under control, and that's why he can do that. I love watching this kid all season long. Baronic, free throw, good. Kevin Williams, a true point guard out there. Thirty-five, thirty-three Mustangs. And you get Jalen Evans back in. Him and uh, Jones kind of switching in and out now. 
Next one is good. Grayson Wilson coming back in for Baronic. 36-33 Mustangs, 134 to go in this third quarter. Spratt gonna handle the point guard duties down the floor. Tommy Reddick gets it, little spin move, ball knocked out. He's able to chase it down all the way to the hoop. There it is. That's his first there it two. Is. That's the Tommy Reddick that we have seen all tournament long right there. He can relax a little bit now. It's kind of like a quarterback early on. You got to help him out. Give him a little pass to his running back. Give him a little pass out to the tight end. Maybe even a little toss. Get the juices going now that he's made it. Let's see what happens on his next time he gets a good look. Billy gets it in, Raylan Spratt has it, picks it up. Spratt working against Baxter, Baxter switches off on Tommy Reddick. Tommy Reddick, 16 footer, Money. Uh oh Money, I, I, I had my hand up, I knew it was in, I'm telling you. He, he is very smooth on now. that jumper right there. 37-36, Dumas with the lead again. Lane Baxter being trapped. Nice job handling it, though. Gets it into Hampton. Yeah. Hampton puts nice it in job. for two. Hampton's an athlete. I like his game. He brings some physicality to his game as well. He's a guy I think can thrive in a game like this. Spratt gets it up into the Wilson teeth the of the defense. Nice job by Wilson. 20 Baxter. seconds to go. Maddox. Drives baseline, hands it off to Hampton. Hampton can't finish though. Ball is gonna be knocked out. Saved in to Lane Baxter. Baxter steps up to the top of the key. We got six seconds. Maddox has it. Long three pointer, no good. And that is gonna be .6 left. Just enough time to catch and shoot. Just can't cock it back, you just gotta throw it. Nope, can't do it. That's good. after the buzzer. And that's gonna be the end of the third. The CAC Mustangs take a one-point lead going into the fourth quarter. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that share button. Like us. Get this out there because we got a great ball game in the final game from Elkins. We'll be back here in just a moment. Comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. We're back. 3837. Thank you to all our sponsors. D3 Auto Sales. Arkansas Tech University is our title sponsor. Heirloom Legal, as well as Tyson Valley Distribution and Petrus Farms for sponsoring our post game. A lot of comments out there. We appreciate it. Quattro T says, Come on, CAC. Brenda Allen, Take State Bobcats. Cam Hunt, Larry Bird. Laura Leak <laughs> says, Let's go. Joseph, Billy, Tommy, Raylan, and Marcus. Mahogany Godley says D up. And 870 Craig says, let's go Dumas. Well, let's there go we Craig. go. Tommy Reddick going to inbound his brother Billy. He's calling for the basketball here. Is this Tommy Reddick time now in the fourth quarter for the Dumas Bobcats? We're about to find out. Crossover dribble. He's trying to get it to Spratt. Two smooth left handed guards of Spratt yep. and Tommy Reddick. They work with each other. Ball and knocked Williams out. Trying to take it. Tommy pulls up. That's his spot uh -oh. right there. Uh oh, don't get Can't your get lip it. enough that time. Just didn't quite get squared on a shot. He's feeling it, though, a little bit now. 38-37 here. Sam Maddox has it. It's going to work against or try to work off the screen. He doesn't take the screen, though. Gets it to Hampton. Hampton's got a lane there. I don't know if he don't like dribbling or not, but. Maddox tries to split the double team. We've got a jump ball. Jump ball should belong to CAC here. Lane Baxter going to inbound the basketball. And here we go. 
Williams has it, working against Reddick. Reddick, Billy Reddick. Kevin Williams all the way to the hoop. He's fouled, is gonna go to the free throw line. Billy, you could see when he got the basketball out there, he is being ultra aggressive, slapping at the ball and all that. You can almost guarantee a ref is gonna call a foul, but that's actually unkillable. That's his third. Yep, Williams did a great job of being able to stay strong with the ball. Get all the way to the cup and draw the foul from the help defense. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Kilgore. So he missed two. Yep, that hurts. In now, the long run. look at Tommy. He's getting the ball every possession right now. Oh, yeah. Little little crossover, gets into the lane. Oh, and he's partially blocked. Short. Yeah, Wilson got in there on that finger roll. I'll tell you right now, Wilson can get uh -oh, up there. Oh, taking uh -oh. away. Hey, good job by Maddox to cut our uh, Baxter to cut him off there. Maddox is going to get the foul. Joe, Jacob Henry coming back in for Kevin Williams. He is going to guard Tommy Reddick. Yeah, a little defense. He's a little bit thicker. You know, Tommy maybe can't really post him up as much. I don't know about the size-wise, height-wise, they're about the same. Winner of this game takes on the Bergman Panthers in Hot Springs next week. That's right, on Arkansas PBS. Ooh. Get inside, ball, and the yep, ball was knocked Henry. away, but Henry picks up the foul. They're trying to isolate Reddick in the post. I think they need to do that more if they can. He's either had Williams on him or Henry. He's got a, a height advantage on both of them. Well, they're they're uh, definitely saying I, we're going to him. This is this is his game. Kilgore, Kilgore can't make it. Big rebound by Wilson. Wilson is yeah, fouled. There's Billy Reddick. You were talking about a minute ago, being really aggressive. He gets gets caught this time. So Kevin Williams listed 5'11", Jacob Henry listed 5'8". So there's a three inch difference. Henry a little thicker. That's true. Lane Baxter has it. Raylan Spratt guarding Baxter. Veronica ready to check in for CAC. Try to get into Wilson. Wilson puts it on the deck. He's going to carry somebody up with him. Well, ready, uh, Tommy gambled on the steal that time. Still got two guys to deal with down there low. They, he gets to the foul drawn because he had such good positioning. CAC is strong, I'm going to tell you. They got some kids that are pretty strong. You can tell they play football. Yep, most of them do. Grayson is one of those guys. First one up. Now, this is where he struggles. Yep. Streaky at best. First free throw, no good. CAC still holds a one point lead. Second free throw, also no good. No. That ball is just too round. He needs it to look a little <laughs> bit more egg shaped, yeah. and you had no problem with it. Yeah. Of course, it, it, it preferred a little further out, too. Tommy Reddick, I'm sorry, Billy Reddick in the front court. Gets it to Evans. They're trying to get it into Tommy. Tommy gets the basketball. Man -man guarded defense. by Henry. Tough shot. Yep, no Every good. From Kilgore. You got to give CAC a lot of credit on the job oh, they've done on Maddox. Tommy Reddick. Try to get it over the top. Good anticipation to take that ball back. Three-pointer by Baxter. That's a big one. It and looks that's good. In. Look good the whole way. This is second. He's got six. Four-point lead. 41-37 here. Kevin Williams about to check back in. Also, Joseph Jones for Dumas. Spratt has it. He's calling for a ball screen. Spratt crossover dribble, gets in the lane, all the way up. Baronic going to pick up the foul. Good job getting downhill, getting that foul called. If you do miss right now, if you coach Larry Harris, I think he wants, he needs his team to get downhill, and I think he needs the defense to get a little bit tighter on the other end. They start everything on defense at Dumas. That's right. But they got to start getting some more traps. They got to get the ball knocked loose, and they got to get these guys off the three-point strap. First shot up, no good. Spratt had a chance for 19 right there. 
Had himself one heck of a ball game. Dumas had 23 points at the end of the first. It is 41-37 right now. It has been tough. Second free throw, also no good. Nobody likes to make free throws right now, and CAC holds on to a four-point lead. Maddox gets it to Williams. Williams guarded by Billy Reddick. Williams, a little step through. Joseph Jones gets it to Grayson Wilson. Wilson kicks it out. Maddox thought about the three there. Gets it to Jones, or Henry, Jacob Henry. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Maddox has it. He's pulling it. Oh, three. Two open. Got it. Open. Sam Maddox, 19 points. And there's a steal by Williams. Wow. Henry puts it up. No good. Dumas got to get going. Down seven. 4.23 to go. Seven point lead. A lot of coaches early in the year when they were 14 0 in conference are running away with it. Scrat, long shot, no good. So CAC might be the team to beat this year. Struggled a little bit down the stretch. Man oh man, are they playing good right now? Ball There's knocked away by Jones. by Jones. Billy Reddick has it. Scrat. He's going against Maddox. Maddox challenges. Old-fashioned three-point opportunity for Raylan Spratt. Spratt's got to take over again. He's been the man tonight. He's got 20 and counting. He just missed two free throws. He's missed one earlier in the night. One of four right now. Five-point lead. He misses it. Wilson gets the rebound, yep. Spratt Spratt gets the the a rebound. foul. Yep. Time getting short here in this ball game. Who's Bergman gonna face? Who are they waiting at Bank OZK Arena? Jacob Henry has it across the timeline. Gets it to Lane Baxter. Baxter gets it to Williams. Williams going to set the offense now. Sam Maddox way out there, and Tommy's out there on him. Maddox puts it on the deck. Nice drive. He's on the deck. Joseph Jones comes out with it. Jones got a block. No shot. Is that and the that's, fifth team foul? I think it is. I don't know if they yep. updated it. It's like Dumas is going to be in the bonus from here on out. Yep, that's the fifth. That's important. Jones tonight don't have a free throw attempt from him. Joseph Baronic coming in to the basketball game here. First one good. Big free throw. Cut it to a one possession game if he can make this second one. The senior at the stripe for his Bobcats. Trying to send them to Hot Springs. Second one, in and out, no good. Ball on the ground, Kevin Williams comes out with it. Dumas pushing up the, the pressure now, 44-40. CAC there. with the lead, yep, but yep, it's yep, stolen. Yep, yep. Tommy Reddick. He goes up two-handed flush, and we've got a timeout, CAC, 44-42. 3.06 remains in this ball game. What a great one we have here. Like, share, subscribe, do all those good things. You want people to see this one. We'll be back in just a moment. Sales in Desar. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desar. We're back here at uh, Elkins, the basketball palace of the Boston Mountains. 
What a great ball game we've got here. Man, you don't want to miss it. 255 on Facebook, by the way. Mahogany Godley says, Yellow heart, purple heart, yellow heart, purple heart, yellow heart, purple heart, yellow heart, purple heart. <laughs> He's pretty excited right now. Well, last year these two teams met. It was the best game of the tournament at Lamar. This year we meet at Elkins. It's the same thing. Semifinals. A trip to Hot Springs on the line. You knew these two teams were going to be good this year. And here they are. Maddox has it. He's going to work on Spratt. Maddox gets in the lane. Ooh. Nice little move, but he can't finish. Grayson Wilson with Man. the putback. Showed the strength off that time to get it done. Four-point lead. You know, he didn't finish it, but Sam Maddox has done things this year that you wouldn't have expected him to do going to the hoop like that. That's right. Spratt, he's kind of lining up Lane Baxter. Billy Reddick gets in the lane. Shot no good. Rebound. That's Jacob That's Henry. Gotta be a travel if not a foul. I think he might have lost it on the way down. Okay. Might have been loose there. Yep. Here we go. Got a four point lead. Dumas has to get a stop. Almost at the two minute mark. Four point lead for CAC. Maddox has it. Gets a shot up. Oh, no good. Putting it in the senior's hand. They got, they got numbers here. Reddick all the way. Little. Wow. Little loop to loop type action. Tommy Reddick getting in the action here in the fourth quarter. He struggled all game long, but he's playing much better here in the fourth. He's got some, he's playing with garlic tonight. <laughs> got eight right now. Kevin Williams all the way to the hoop. We got a foul on Spratt. Spratt Whoop. had a hand on the ball, but he also had a hand on the back and the hip side. He gets the foul call. He wanted the jump ball. Matt Hall down there. Pacing the sidelines, Coach Larry Harris also. I mean, you can see there's a lot on the line here as Kevin Williams knocks down a free throw. That was huge free throw right there. Yeah, he missed two in a row in the fourth period. It's a big one. Four games today, four really good games today here at the 3A. He just makes it a two possession game. Dumas Bobcats have it. Raylan Spratt brings it into the front court. Very important possession for the Bobcats. Spratt working against Baxter. Little spin move, shot, no good. Rebound, Grayson Wilson. Kevin Williams has it. He's getting guarded very heavily, but they do a good job of making it. the press. But there's not, let's get ahead. <laughs> there it is. Spratt ahead of the, the pack, and he puts it in for two. Woo. That was close to going out. It hit the back of the rim, it hit the side of the rim there. I thought he overshot it. 48-46 as we're under a minute to play. Dumas does not have to foul. Both teams in the bonus right now, and we've got a two-point game. Maddox has it. Pivotal possession in this ball game. Kevin Williams, he's going to work against Evans. Kevin, I can see he lacks his matchup there, but he gets it to Maddox anyway. Maddox working against Tommy Reddick. Maddox. Knocked get, out. Get Tommy Reddick. Out of the way. Spratt. <laughs> All the way to oh. the hoop. It's a tie ball game. He just ran, out, ran everybody with the ball in his hand. He got past them. Wow. As you would say, Duran Onions. <laughs> Spratt sits flat in the bottom <laughs> of the basket. 27.3 <laughs> to go. It's a 48-48 ball wow. game. We might have bonus ball. We're going to find out. We're going to stay right here. My goodness, the Dumas crowd they is up. That's to the section of Dumas as well. I mean, they're ready. Yes, let's, let's get them in here. He saw Sweet Corn is a proud sponsor of the Dumas Bobcats, Nelson Intelligent Solutions. And let me check them out real quick. Goodness gracious, there's so much going on. <laughs> Brooklyn Bonner says, let's go Mustangs. Jeremy Jackson says, let's go. Kalar Hunt says, let's go Cats. And Jeremy Jackson says, Ray Ray. Let me say this real quick. Eric Nelson is a native of Dumas, Arkansas, and a graduate of, of the class of 1991. 
a small town country kid that continues to chase his goals while out and assisting others in achieving their goals. Departing the area immediately after high school graduation, Eric went on to join the Marine Corps in which he was successfully served his country for 20 years before he retired as a chief warrant officer. Wow. Then moving on to become a corporate executive and now president, chief, CEO of Nelson Intelligent Solutions. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. And uh, thank you for supporting the Dumas Bobcats. Chief officer. 22 seconds to go. Jacob Henry has the ball. Yeah. No shot clock here. CAC wants to get the last shot if they can get it. 14 seconds to go. Sam Maddox working against Tommy Reddick. Maddox puts it on the deck. Up and under. Little floater off front iron. He gets it to, to Grayson Wilson. Wilson got it in. Three seconds, two seconds. Up on the high half court. Oh, no. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. What an ending. Grayson Wilson puts the shot in. Off the miss from Sam Maddox. Gets the assist and the CAC Mustangs are going to the state finals. Wow. Wow, oh wow. How close was that shot from just over half court or just on this side of it? Unbelievable I mean, ending. A game of inches. A game of inches. Grayson Unbelievable. Wilson, seven points needed every one of them. What a ball game. Four games on ASN semifinal Saturday. Look at the emotion on Lane Baxter's face. And they delivered every one of them. And this uh, Dumas team right there with them the whole time, playing their tails off. Got a great group. Joseph Jones, a senior, going to be his last game. Tommy Reddick, unbelievable career as well. His last game. Jerry wow. McGee. Jalen Evans getting some big minutes in this one. And Samuel Mondragon. Coach Matt Hall down there, he's emotional. Kids getting together and praying. Giving their thanks. The CAC Mustangs going to Hot Springs. And we're gonna try to get some winning players and coaches up here. 11 nothing, Dumas started. Dumas started this one, 11 nothing. Yep. CAC didn't flounder, they just, they didn't bat an eye, they just come back and played tough. What a game. Check them out. Getting your ticket. And they are gonna get their ticket to Hot Springs and Bank OZK Arena. What a finish, what a game, what a night. They get the bracket. What a great game tonight it was. Tell you what, let's go to a break. We're gonna get to the Petrus Farm and Grill post game show. The final one here from the 3A tournament. And we will be back here in just a moment. You're watching the 3A state basketball tournament presented by Centennial Bank. We'll be back in just a moment. We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. I chose a car that would be safe for our family. And when it comes to our financial future, 
I don't take any chances there either. That's why we bank with Centennial. They give me everything I could want in a bank, from the latest technology to great service. But the biggest thing they give me is confidence. So in a time when there's plenty of things to worry about, my money isn't one of them. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but we know there's growth in the journey. At ATU, we value this moment because here, nature becomes your classroom. So breathe it in. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. I chose a car that would be safe for our family. And when it comes to our financial future, I don't take any chances there either. That's why we bank with Centennial. They give me everything I could want in a bank, from the latest technology to great service. But the biggest thing they give me is confidence. So in a time when there's plenty of things to worry about, my money isn't one of them. What does the Stay Put Pillow offer that no other travel pillow on the market can? Our patented design offers support for the neck and head, preventing uncomfortable slumping. A place to support your arms because no one ever knows what to do with those. Extraordinary versatility. It can be used in any seat of a plane, window, center, or aisle, or even in a terminal waiting on your flight. It's reversible, so it can be used on any side of the plane. The design allows hands to move freely while also providing a rest to use a phone or read a book. It also has a handy cell phone pocket built right in. With its unique design and weighing only about two pounds, it's very easy and convenient to travel with. Order your Stay Put Pillow today at mystayputpillow.com. Well, we're still waiting on uh... CAC players and the Petrus Farmer Grill post game report. We have no seasoning left. We had some come <laughs> over here and That's say right. Chicopee. Yeah. Right? They were listening last night. So, um, you know, if you like that seasoning, make sure you tell somebody about it. Go visit PetrusFarmGrill.com. And, uh, man, uh, what a they great are. set of seasons we got. We got players coming up here. Probably the whole team before it's all said and done. Here you go. These are your additional hey, stats. Hey, Alan, I might. Alan. No, he's not going to be able to hear me. There you go. I'll give you this headset. Yeah. Up. Here, let's grab all headsets. We're going to need them. Let me tell you, y'all are in for a treat for these things. <laughs> all right. I I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's awesome. Where do you want me? You want me to stand behind them? Yeah, if you can, if you can fit in there. Where's that? Um, hey, let me talk first, but then they'll get out of here. There we go. Right. Let, let him have that. It don't work? Yeah, it should. Check it. Check the green light on it. It's on. Okay. Talk into it. Test, test, test. No, maybe not. I don't know. I think we're running out of battery on it. We'll get you. Here, <clears throat> have, hand him a headset real quick. All right. Coach Matt Hall, you're going to... You're going to the state final, sir. And, uh, you know, I know that last night was emotional, but I got to think that this one's probably even a little more. Yeah, I mean, look, hey, first time in CAC history they've been to Hot Springs and boys basketball. Uh, I, look, I don't even know what to say. I, I, I was 100% sure the half-court shot was going in the whole way. It hit the rim and the buzzer went off, and we all kind of were stunned for a second. But, man, what guts these guys have, man. Oh, and yeah. Look, the – the Migos, if they're as affectionately known at CAC, these three are never apart. And look, they got so much heart. 
they, they love it when I say the word gritty, but that's what they are. They're gritty and yeah. they're tough and they're physical, and they bring so much to our team, man, and I'm proud of them. Uh, we're going tell, to Hot Springs. Tell me a little bit of something. You, the 11 nothing start, things didn't look great for you there. What was it that you told your team to get them back in the ball I game? I told them before the game started, listen, Dumas is M.O. They are going to come out and throw a haymaker early. They do it every game. Uh, I mean, they did it to Elkins. They did it to – who'd they play in the first round? I don't even remember. Uh, was it Gosnell, I They believe? come out and they throw haymakers early. And if you can withstand it and just do what you do and grind it out, you'll have a chance at the end. Yeah. And that's all we talked about at the beginning. Get a chance to win it at the end. You guys did a great job on Tommy Reddick today. Um, I, I think he had eight points maybe, somewhere in there. Tell us a little bit about that. That's these two right here, man. Okay. They're dogs. <clears throat> Look, you, I mean, turn, you turn the dogs loose on somebody and they get them. Go ahead, Jake. Tell them about I mean, it. Coach, give us a great game plan for every game. Who we got to stop? Uh, we just go out and execute, do we too. And eventually, everything is going to come together. And me and him just play good defense. Don't try not to foul. And we just get the stops we need to win the game. You know, a lot of people would have said, CAC might not have a chance in this one. Y'all said it last night. No. That's all right. No. <laughs> no. Y'all said it. Uh, Dumas is the team to beat. Uh, okay, I, I did. I did yeah. say that. I said, no, here's what I said. You didn't said, say we didn't have a chance. I said they were playing the best, and they were. They were. Until no tonight. That's right. And you guys played really, really good basketball tonight. I, I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to let these three talk. Uh, in the Democrat Gazette, before the season started, they put out an article, and they listed Tier 1, Tier, th tier 2, and Tier 3 teams. Uh, and they put us as a Tier 3 team, and we've had a huge Tier 3 sign on the back of our locker room they were all year. We touched it every day. We looked at it every day. Uh, and that fire's been burning in our belly. And like Kobe said, job's not done. We're going to get one more in Hot Springs. All right. All right. Well, there you go. Well, guys, you got to be excited. First time in CAC program history. Let me fix that for you real quick. And uh, just tell me what the feeling's like of getting a chance to go to the state championship game. Uh, it's amazing, really. Uh, just that feeling from last year, you know, after going out to a great Dumas team, uh, just been holding on to that feeling all year. So it feels great to just be here, you know. Tell me about this right here. Uh, in a great battle with um, River, uh, who was? River, River Crest. Crest. River Crest. Yeah. Uh, it just hard to take. And then Euro right into my head. We were wondering, we were wondering if uh, you were going to even play today. Of course, that, that probably didn't even cross your mind, did it? Nah. We you, knew we had to play today. Yeah, absolutely. What about you? Tell me how you're feeling right now. Uh, it's just honestly an amazing experience. Like a, like you said, a great Dumas team set us home last week, last year, excuse me. And then ever since then, that feeling has been sitting with us. And I want to shout out Purple Team. Purple Team, they grind us out every day, give us great looks in practice. Chase Lillard, Lucas Gorder. They, they make it hard for us in practice, and that's what we need. That's what we need. <clears throat> well, you know who didn't have y'all tier three this year, right? Mm -hmm. Us. We didn't have you tier three. We had you in the top five all year long. We felt like, <laughs> hey, bud, hey, hey, I, 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 you're, you got a pretty face, but we won't see these guys, all right? <laughs> uh, uh, you, we had you on the top five all year long. Felt like uh, you guys and Lamar in, in that conference over there really played well. Uh, we even said at one point that could be a state championship rematch. It almost happened. But uh, now you guys got Bergman. Bergman's a tough team. They've got a lot of tradition. They got there last year. They're going to be hungry to get one this year. What do you guys think about the Bergman Panthers? You guys have played them, have you not? Yeah, played them. Uh, played them. We twice. played them, but our football players are out, so right. Different they, haven't, game. they haven't seen us at full force. Different game. Bergman's playing really good basketball right now. Ever since the regional tournament started, they kind of turned it on. And uh, they played great ball today against Lamar. They really looked good. But I'll tell you right now, this is going to be a great 3A state matchup. I believe that right now. It's going to be fun, and it, it's going to be intense. I, I know it, and I think that you guys have a great shot. And of course, Bergman does too. I think it's going to be good. So I, I'm just I'm excited to see it. I don't have to call it. I can just watch it from my home. How about that? Or there, whatever. We'll let you guys get the picture over here. Somebody take a picture of you. Y'all got any final thoughts before I let y'all go celebrate with your teammates? Uh, <clears throat> Thankful to be here, man. Thankful to work thankful. hard. Thank God. Just thank all the people that helped us out. We're here. Well, we'll get that in a minute. Okay. Well, guys, congratulations. Thank you, sir. And uh, we'll be watching for sure. We'll sure. be watching. Y'all go have fun. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right.
What an awesome time. Let me, uh, that's me. Let me fix these real quick, get that sweat. Bill gonna jump on here with us. Let's, I guess I'm gonna soak up some butt sweat here. <laughs> yeah, right. Nate, you can, you can jump in here on that. All right, Nate. Big A. Get in here, Bill. Bill? You're going to. No. Yeah, we'll get everybody in here again like we'll we did last we can, year. Right? We'll see if we can. Right? Yeah, right. We got some three, we got three <laughs> we wide have, bodies here. Are we unmuted, here. Nate? We unmuted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good. All right. Well, <laughs> guys, another year is under our belts here at the 3A. And yes. Two years ago in 2022, we did the 5A tournament. And uh, while that was fun and we enjoyed doing the Bless. 5A tournament, I feel like we found a home in 3A. Uh, we hope that next year we'll be able to be right back. But probably not at Elkins. It doesn't seem to happen too often to no. do two years in a row. But Probably not. But uh, we, we do enjoy being in the small school with the 3A. It, it feels like a good fit for us. It's a good community. Do you, do it you is. have to know who else bidded this year for 3A that was close? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. I, I know that. Stephen Fine called me on the way to Little Rock, and he said, hey, we want you there. And I said, well, I'm as flattered as I can possibly be about being asked to be at your new, brand-new facility and oh, yeah. uh, to get a chance to be at the 3A state tournament. So, anyway, guys, we got a lot of things happening, um, a lot of things going on. Off-season for ASN is going to be pretty big for us this yeah. year. And uh, we're looking forward to putting some stuff out there very quickly. Tomorrow, the D3 Auto Sales Basketball MVP. We're taking nom nominations starting tomorrow for that. We'll put a post out there. We need stats. Make sure yeah. that you're putting them out there. It's going to be hard to, yep. to tell somebody they're the MVP if, they're, if we don't have stats. A nomination without stats is not it's, a nomination. That's, exa that's exactly right. Alan, Aaron, if y'all can get in here, get your heads in here. They did once. Yeah, they oh, already... Alan didn't. Aaron did. Get in here. Alan, you want to jump in here? Yeah, jump in. <laughs> Alan had 42 sports. Six, but, well, it's been eight years ago. You started with the dream of small school coverage, and, and uh, well, it's been a little different than what you expected, but here we are. Yeah, here we are, man. Yeah. And, uh, exciting. Yeah. Exciting. I'm sorry if I'm smiling too much. My Indians went to the uh, state title, so I'm. Uh, we, I'm had a little, great, uh, we had a great, we had a, we had a great time, didn't we? Yes, sir. We did. It, this was a lot of fun, and uh, going forward, man, uh, we get another one of these, you know, hopefully, and God right. willing, and we can uh, continue to do what we've been doing. Yeah, we're we're gonna try. We're gonna try to do that. And so, man, we're we're just happy to be a part. Nate, you're down there. You've done your thing this week. You've been a little bit under the weather. Probably didn't get enough sleep. And uh, we appreciate you. Appreciate Aaron over there being a part of our crew. Um, it, it's been a great time. This whole year, it's been like a sprint. Mike Vanderbush. Mike over Vanderbush there. over there. <laughs> Mike well. over there, yes, sir. It, it's been like a sprint considering yeah. that, that um, we started August the 25th with Malvern and Walnut Grove, Texas. And it oh, just yeah. it's just been boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom all the way through. And here we are now. In a semi sort of ending for the 24 school year, but you know what? It's not over yet for us. And, and for all to see, you see what we offer. So I mean, get with right. us. You know, yep. that's right. So get we with get us. a little bit of baseball and softball game. Maybe yeah, here we, and there. we we've already talked about a couple of baseball. We've never done softball game. We, we're willing to do oh, one yeah. if the time is right for us. We got very busy schedules when it comes to baseball and softball, but we would like to do. Maybe a couple. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would love to go do a state tournament. I'm not sure that that's even feasible right now. But <clears throat> I want to throw a couple things at you re real quick. Number one, if you haven't subscribed to us or gone and followed us on Facebook, go do that. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, follow, like, all of those things because there's always things that we're doing, always things that we're getting out there. Um, in the future, we would love for you to like to uh, consider subscribing to us on a monthly basis. Here's why I say that. Because at a time or, or another, we're gonna have a, a time where maybe we could get out there and do more around the state of Arkansas right. and, and really get out there and cover kids in the way that we really would like to cover them. Get the stories 
from the kids that their stories are not being told. So we would like to do that. And it's really going to take an effort as far as subscribing and those sort of things. Our games will always be free. But as far as the, as the extra stuff, daily content, that sort of thing, that's what we're shooting for, for from now on out. Yes, sir. We want to say thank you to everybody that loves us and that go and, and supports us. And, and I'm going to tell you, anybody that does it, and you're watching this right now, I, it, it doesn't matter. You're low. We have people <laughs> all around us all the time. It's 95.5. You may not like that, but that's what it is. No. And so – I want to th say thank you to those that support us and that love us and get behind us. We got more coming. And, yeah, I want to say, go ahead, Alan. To the Marjorie fans that might be watching this, to, uh, tip that champagne bottle for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thanks to the AAA yes. again, allowing us to be part of this. I want to thank you uh, to the Elkins staff administration here. They've all been wonderful five-star hosts for us to let us come up here and do this, yes. ask us to come. And all the fans from all the teams, it's been uh, just a major yeah. outpouring from every team that's been up here coming by, telling us what we're doing, you know, how they appreciate it. All the coaches saying such nice things. It's been, a, it's been such a fun ride. We're living a dream. We like to make it a bigger <laughs> dream as we move forward, getting a little better every year, hopefully. Yeah, Rubbing Bill's little, staff. Little 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 action there. I want to say thanks to Bill. <laughs> Bill and I. From the start, we've been there. Duran, you've been with me basically from it as well. Yep. And uh, Aaron jumped in there really soon. And, I mean, can't say thank you enough to all of you all for what you do. Nate, this is a team effort, I promise you. It takes a lot to make it happen. These guys make sacrifices, sacrifice with their family. Uh, they make sacrifices with their time. A lot and of groceries uh, for it, Yes. Half this crew during the week. Yes. Know, little bits here and there. <laughs> That's it. But we, we want to say, I want to say thank you to every one of you that are a part of this because we cannot, do, I, I cannot do this without each and every one of y'all. And, uh, you know, yep. ASN, 80,000 followers strong. I cannot believe uh, that I would say that. Uh, that's good. I cannot good believe that I would say that. 80,000 followers 80, strong. 80,000, bro. No, I no mean, I and ASN. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Team, That's right. I Arkansas Sports Network. As Michael Jordan would say, there is a me. <laughs> I'm that was Kobe, wasn't it? I was kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's got the Jordans on. That's for sure. That's right. I got some J's. I got, uh, I got what it I've is. J's all week. I can't believe no. I've had maybe one or two people say something uh, about it. What's up? <laughs> he didn't think I saw him. He's out here dunking where we got. Sure. Right. <laughs> a hundred pounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we're going to wrap it up from 3A. Thank you to Elkins. Thank you to the AAA. Thank you to you for being a part of what we do uh, and our crew. We've got other people in our crew. Justin Smith, he's a part of what we do. Uh, there's others as well. Lord, I'm probably missing somebody. Am I missing oh. somebody I need to mention? I mean, ASN side, high school side helps us yes. out. There's all kinds. Jared Huffman, uh, OJ. OJ Reynolds. Reynolds. Uh, uh, Jim Moody's Jim one. Jim Moody. Yeah. I mean, I mean he's, they, they've he's done all. a lot this year during the games of the week. Um, Ethan Obar. Yep. Yeah. So here's here's another yes. thing to think about. Boom Bill guy, right? Let me, yes, sir. Let me throw this at you, and then we gotta we got to close. Preacher's got to make the altar call one more time here. <laughs> okay. We have opportunity at Arkansas Tech. I'm going to be on the phone with them on Monday. Um, I've had uh, one school that's reached out. We were talking with Elkins here as well about possibly doing something. We're going to see if we can do that. But if you're interested, maybe shoot me an email or shoot us a message about possibly playing a football game at Arkansas Tech early in the season next year. Also, we haven't even mentioned it hardly at all, but we actually have the opportunity to do a basketball classic at Tech as well. We would like to get teams that are what we're watching right now out here and coming what? into Russellville, yeah. getting matchups such as maybe a Lamar and Rivercrest right. or, or, you know, or, or in the boys' side. Or what we saw a minute ago. Right. Lamar or Bergman, things like that. Right. You know, or, lots of different options. Or just this matchups that you wouldn't normally see, that, right. and, and, but really good matchups, top-tier matchups that would be around the first of the year. If you're interested in that, shoot us a message as well. Shoot us a message at arsportsnet.com at gmail.com. I think that's basically get, it. Yeah, um, get on with us. You know. Yes, on, that's right. Get on board. Get on board with us as well. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to also have some games at Tech <laughs> that are from 
you know, places across that's the right, state, right. like the that's farthest right. corners. That's like it. River Chris on the east and, you know, someone like uh, Lavaca or, you know, if we Hackett or, you know, someone like that, Greenwood. If we're talking basketball, I got Montreal on lock. There you go. That's on lock. All right. Well, there you go. Well, guys, I, this is it. We're, we're saying goodbye. It's like the last day of summer camp. You don't want to let go, but you got to go home. So that's what we're going to do. For this crew that's here tonight, we want to say thank you uh, for be, being a part of this crew. Thank you for being a part. Hey. Thank you for being a part of us as well. We'll see you next year. We'll see you later this year. Be on the lookout for MVP and all these other things that are happening. We're out. We gone. <laughs>